Okay guys, so there is a big problem with WordPress and that is that only one person can work on a blog post at a time. So that means that if someone else is already working on it, well, you'll see this message here. John Doe is currently editing and if I attempt to open it, we'll be met with this message here. John Doe is currently working on this blog post. What do you want to do? Exit the editor or take over? Now, if I take over, John Doe cannot work on it. And if I exit the editor, I cannot work on it either. Now, if you are working as a team, you can clearly see how this is a big problem because you have to wait for your colleagues to finish what they're working on before you can jump in and work on the blog post itself. And as a result, well, everyone is wasting a ton of time. So today I have the ideal solution for you, a very unique plugin that will allow multiple users to work together on the same blog post at the same time. And on top of that, it will bring you all the Google Docs features as well. Okay, so let me show you. Very good, so it's called Multicollab. And as always, I'll leave all the links in the description below. As you can see with Multicollab, you'll get Google Docs style collaboration in WordPress. So no more copy and paste, faster publishing, and also it works in your workflow. Now guys, you can try it out for free for 14 days. All you have to click on this. And right here, you can have a hands-on demo as well. So basically, this is a test platform that will be available to you for about 30 minutes. So if you want to try this now, while uh, you go through this video, you can test all these features along with me as well. When it comes to pricing, they're actually very affordable based on the amount of features that you get. As you can see, it starts as just $16 per month and the pro version is $41 per month. What's the difference? Well, here you get real-time collaboration, suggestion mode, and Slack notifications as well. So these are the main additional features that you get between the pro and the light version. So now let me show you all these features in action. Okay, so first, Multicollab, as you can glean from its name, is a collaboration tool within WordPress. So the first thing that you can do is to invite your colleagues, co-workers to join in and help you out working on the same blog post. So for this, all you have to do is to click on this button here, share, and you can invite anyone just by using their email address. So let's invite David here as an example. And now you can assign a specific role. So is David a viewer, a commenter, or a co-editor? So in this case, we're going to select co-editor and give David the highest set of privileges. Now you can add a personal note as well. So perhaps something like this. Hi, Dave. I would need your help with this blog post. Care to join in? Thanks. And then let's send this message. And this is the email that David will receive. So you are invited to collaborate and then the title of the blog post. And all he has to do now is to click on this button here to access the blog post without needing any credentials. Now, there are three different ways that Multicollab can help you create better content. First is by adding inline comments or sharing information between your teammates. You can also suggest edits, so formatting edits or content edits, and also by collaborating in real time. So let's go through this step by step. So the first one is the inline comments. So let's say you're going through the whole content here and then you notice a sentence that's not quite right or something that you'd like to change. So for instance, here it says, we'll explore how Multicollab is revolutionizing the way teams work together fostering innovation and maximizing efficiency. Now, if you're not too sure about this one, you might add an inline comment and ask your colleagues to advise you on that. So all you have to do is to highlight this section here, click on the plus sign, and now you can type your message. Now you can tag David directly also by typing the at sign and then David. So let's select David here and then we can type our message next to it. So for instance, this sounds a little bit too cliche. Can you think of another way of saying it? And right here underneath, you can assign this to David directly. So in which case he will be responsible for marking it as done. So if it's left unticked, both of you can mark it as done afterwards. So let's post our comment. And now from David's screen, he can see a message and he can post a reply or take the appropriate actions. So let's say here, David will post a reply. So let's try the way teams work together simultaneously and maximizing efficiency. Now I can post a reply. And now from John Doe's screen, he can see David's reply. So now I can take the appropriate action and change the content here. And then he can mark it as resolved. So is this resolved? Yes. There you go, that's basically it. Now there is another way to take care of this issue here. So instead of fostering innovation, we want to add simultaneously, you could enable the suggest edit. So for this, we go to multi-collab, we go to settings, and right here with the suggest edit feature, enable this using the toggle switch. As you can see, you get the confirmation that now the suggestion mode is on. You can close this now. And now let's highlight fostering innovation. And now I can suggest my edit. So here I'm going to hit the delete key, okay, just like this. 
As you can see now, this is cross stuffed all together. And now I can add the word that I want to replace it with. So we said simultaneously, okay? So one is cross stuffed, one is in green. And as you can see by the side, those actions, those edits have been recorded. And now anyone coming along can either accept or reject the suggestion. So let me accept it as an example here. Very good. And as you can see, those changes have taken place. Now there is another type of suggest edit, which is a formatting edit. So if I wanted to emphasize this word here simultaneously, I could highlight it and maybe suggest it to be in bold and italic. Again, those changes are recorded here. Now again, anyone coming along can either accept or reject this suggestion. So let's reject it this time. And as you can see, those changes haven't been applied. So when adding an inline comment, you can also attach a file. So let's say if I wanted to select all this paragraph here and add an inline comment, you can type your comment here. So for instance, can we insert a similar image in between those two paragraphs? And now you can click on this paperclip and attach any file. So you can select a file from your media library or upload your own, obviously, you know. So let's select one that's already here. So let's attach this image here as an example and then select and post our comment. And now back to David's screen, you can read your message. So can we insert a similar image between those two paragraphs? And for this, all he has to do is click on this link here and he will open up the image in a new tab simply by clicking on it. And now David can make the appropriate changes to the content of your blog post. And now let me show you the most amazing feature of Multicolab, which is for multiple users to be able to work together at the same time on the same blog post. And for this, all you have to do is just to enable that feature. So Again, we go to Multicollab, Settings, scroll down the page, and right here we have the real-time editing. Use the toggle switch, enable this, and now John Doe and David will be able to work together at the same time on the same blog post. So let me demonstrate that feature now. Very good. So on the left-hand side, as you can see, this is John Doe, and on the right-hand side, we have David. So let me show you what happens when one or the other starts working on the blog post. So let's say John Doe would start editing this content here and I'm going to start typing something here. So I would type something here, okay? Just like that. And as you can see, as I'm typing those words, David can see exactly what I'm doing here. So you can see there's a note here, John Doe is editing this blog. Now as David here, if I start working maybe on this paragraph here, I can start typing as well. So if I start typing here, it's the same principle. John Doe can see exactly what David is doing in real time. And it doesn't matter what you're doing. You could be highlighting stuff, maybe changing the format, maybe putting this in bold and italic. As you can see, everything is reflecting here immediately. So this is an absolutely amazing feature. And if you go right here on top, you will see immediately who's working at the same time as you on the same blog post. So we have David, so this is ourselves. And we also have John Doe. And from John Doe's screen is the same principle. You can see yourself and David working simultaneously at the same time on the same blog post. So there you go, guys. Like I told you, this thing is absolutely amazing. And that's a very unique plugin, the only one of its kind. As always, if you want to give it a go, I'll leave all the links in the description below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.